Jaime, our annual guys trip. This is what Onion Valley trailhead looks like. A couple pit toilets, a bunch of parking, although we had to park down on the road because there's no spots. And the trailhead is up there. And we are heading up there somewhere. All right, so begins our hike. We're doing Kearsarge to Ray Lakes. Realistically, I don't think we're going over the pass today. We are out of breath because we just drove up from sea level to 9,000 feet and tired, so See you at Flower Lake. This is actually Gilbert Lake. Look at the smoke. Still getting some bad smoke. We're tired. We woke up early today. Drove all the way up here to the Sierra Nevada from Southern California. And uh, we are looking forward to sleeping. Not gonna film too much tonight. I don't really see an amazing composition for photography for any still photos, but who knows? Night's still young, but I'm ready to go sleep. So we're gonna acclimate here. We're about 10,000 feet right now. Go to sleep and uh, kick some ass tomorrow, but right now we're gonna rest. <sighs> How was today? The first day was pretty hard, trying to acclimate to the altitude. Oh. Got some Alpen Glow. Got the moon. Looking forward to getting some sleep tonight. all packed up saying goodbye to Gilbert Lake thanks for the memories let's do it I'll see you guys up there that's where we came from <laughs> made it to the top of Kearsarge pass way up here Gonna head down here next to Kearsarge Lakes. See you down there. All right, there's the Kearsarge Lakes. Found a little trickle of a stream to get some water. I think that's Bullfrog right there. And Bubs Creek King Canyon over there. And where we're headed around there is Charlotte Lake and Glen Pass. Kind of dry, huh? Very dry. <laughs> we found a little stream right there. In my mouth. <laughs> it was before I drank. Two of those liters, right? Water. I've got my uh, instant tea, black lemon. So yeah, I think uh, next stop down there, do some lunch. And then we'll figure out if we're going to Charlotte Lake or all the way over Glen Pass, which is kind of a uh, tall order. We'll see. I haven't really been filming much because it's been kind of an ass kicker going up Glen. It's uh, pretty steep. Um, so we're doing two passes in one day. Earlier we did Kearsarge and then we actually hiked down into the Kearsarge Lakes, Bullfrog Lake to get water which kind of added some distance and added some elevation. Pretty close. I can see the pass. Let me show you that. So that's the top right there. Oh my god. Jaime <laughs> just got here. Kind of going up along that ridge. And there's some switchbacks. How you feeling, dude? <laughs> Challenge. It's pretty steep. It's not a far distance, but it's a steep distance. Uh, 
horses in one day. It's pretty epic. Ray Lakes. That's the destination tonight. <sighs> Almost there. Ray Lakes. <sighs> but yeah, I'm tired. So just waiting for Jaime to catch up and uh, we're gonna have to set up camp in a hurry. Super beat, signing out. I don't know, probably won't have enough light to record anything else, so see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
Uh, there's no clouds in the sky, so there's no spectacular sunset. The Alpen glow was very fast on the ridges, and I tried to get a couple shots of that. Maybe I'll show you right here. It takes a lot of energy and effort to get out to these places, and it's virtually impossible to predict the conditions, unless you're spending extended amounts of time out here, which we don't have the luxury of. we got to head back tomorrow. So, it's a blue hour right now. I think I'm going to try one more composition. I think I'm going to try to get the Painted Lady during the blue hour. It's worth a shot. And then I'm going to bed. So if all works out, here's my shot of the Painted Lady. I just want to get a shot of Finn Dome right here when it lights up. So yeah, I'm going to sign out here and uh, see you guys at the top of Glen Pass. Bam. So we made it to the top of Glen Pass about an hour faster than we thought. About 10 a.m. It's about 10.15. A little after that, we're going to take a nice 30 and uh, enjoy the view. We were pretty happy with how long it took. Really happy. <laughs> Relieved so, too, you know? <laughs> yeah. We were kind of dreading this, so we're stoked right now. Downhill, and then we'll decide if we want to go over a Kearsarge today or, or save that for tomorrow morning. I, I don't know. think we should another have another. Another two-pass day. <laughs> Feeling stronger, though. Who knows? I know. Let's I don't know. We we'll see. <laughs> so we got Charlotte Dome right there. Charlotte Creek leading into Charlotte Lake. Taking this upper trail back to Kearsarge Pass. Got this nice view of Bullfrog Lake. We were down there a couple days ago for lunch at the lower, lower trail. So I just came from right there on this higher Kearsarge route back to uh, the pass. Found some water. I think I'm quite a bit ahead of Jaime right now, so I'm just gonna wait here for him. This is a good spot. Peaceful, beautiful, water, coffee time. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> All right, we're making the push. There's the Kearsarge Lakes. Get you a look at that. Here's the junction where me and Jaime need to decide if we want to go down there and just camp for the night, but I don't think so. We're gonna blow this joint because I can see the pass. See those people up there? Just saying it's 2.30. We could go down there and camp for the night, but I think we want to take a shower. So, hey, another two passes in one day, because we're going over. Here's Jaime. Here's Bullfrog, Kearsarge Lakes, and Kearsarge Pass. I think so, man. Let's do it. Yeah. Another two pass day. I think we're on a roll. I think we're feeling pretty good. 315. Jaime's got more energy than, than the Energizer Bunny. Look at this guy. Maybe. Best <laughs> oxygen, though. 12,000 feet. <laughs> Goodbye, Kings Canyon National Park. Till next time. Wow. Made it. I just went five miles in an hour 40 minutes. It's a pretty fast pace. <sighs> pretty beat.
So that was a great hike, but it did leave me with a couple questions like who exactly is Charlotte and what am I going to eat in Lone Pine for dinner? So if you enjoyed this video at all, please hit that like, help my little channel grow, subscribe, be awesome, and uh, that's all I got. Until next time, peace.